Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to use a synthetic division to divide this polynomial by this binomial. So remember, when using synthetic division, it's important that your divisor, what you're going to divide into or divide by, is going to be a binomial to the first degree, meaning my variable cannot be squared or cubed or anything else. It has to be linear. So remember, the algorithm for synthetic division, um, we had to make placements that look something like this, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, where a, b, and c were our coefficients and d was our constant, divided by x minus k. And the x minus k is very, very important for you to understand that we're going to be using the opposite value of our k in this case. So what we're going to do is k, remember we had it on the outside, and then we just labeled the coefficients and our constant up top. So that's what we're going to set up. So in this case, if I have x plus 3, my k is going to be negative 3. My a, in this case, is 5. b is 18. c is 7. And d is negative 6. Now what I'm going to do is first one, I'm going to drop down, which is going to be 5. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 5 times negative 3, which gives me a negative 15. So when we go diagonal, when I kind of go 5 to 3, we're going to multiply. When we go vertical, you add. 18 plus negative 5 is positive 3. Neg 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. 7 plus negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So this is our answer. But remember, if I divide a polynomial, if I divide a binomial into a polynomial, I should get another polynomial out, right? So these are just a set of numbers. How do we write this as a polynomial? Well, always your first answer back here is always going to be your remainder. And in this case, our remainder is 0, which is awesome. Because what that tells us is x plus 3 evenly divides into this polynomial. The next, so you have your remainder. The next term is going to be your constant. Then you have your linear term. Then you have your square term. And if there is more place settings for these, we could go up to the cube, the fourth root, or the fourth power, and so forth. But now what I'm going to do is these represent the coefficient of my quotient polynomial. So my final answer is going to be 5x squared plus 3x minus 2. So x plus 3 divides into that whole polynomial, I don't want to say it all over again, which equals 5x squared plus 3x minus 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks.